we're talking about the environment. Hello, caller. Welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. I'm Montclair Public Access TV3. This is Richard Burnish. Go ahead. Caller? Okay. You screen that one? Okay. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the air. You're live on Montclair Public Access TV3 and the Jesus chat line. Go ahead. Hello. Is, is this Chet? This is Richard Burnish. Uh, go ahead. Uh, your question. Am I talking to Richard Burnish? Yes. Um, hello. Oh, oh, good evening, Herr Richard Burnish. This is Hans-Peter Schwanzlutscher from the media department of the Vatican. Okay, uh, go go ahead, caller. It's uh, nice okay. to hear from you. Are you calling? Yeah, well, from, I from I, I really had to think about what you've told me about the Neon Bible. Okay, yes, go go ahead. Well, it, it well I work for the media department of the Vatican, and what you told me last time really made me question my religion. I mean, the things you told me: should I be using torrents? Should I update Firefox? So, since I work for the media department of the Vatican, I went to the Pope and I wanted to update his Firefox. So I went to the Pope and I wanted to ask him and, and you know what, the Pope just laughed at me and said, Firefox, I use Internet Explorer. The, the, this is when I realized yeah. I, I, had been, I had been barking at the wrong tree all the years. I mean, do, do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, so I, I'm German, please let me rephrase this. I think in the United States um, you would say, the Pope rustled my jimmies. Is this what you say in the United States? I'm not quite sure. So, um, anyways, Herr Burnish, I want to spread the gospel of the Neon Bible. Herr, Herr Burnish, I want to do... Uh, did, did you just crunch yourself? Please, please stop crunching yeah. yourself. I'm sorry, about, there's, there's some static coming. So you went to update his Firefox and he didn't use it? Yeah, I, I, wanted, I went to the Pope and I was like, please... Pope, mm -hmm. can I update your Firefox? And he said, no, I use Internet Explorer. And I just couldn't believe it. I mean, in yeah. the Neon Bible, you say, should I update Firefox or should I be using torrents? And he doesn't use Firefox. And seriously, this is when I realized that I was barking at the wrong tree. And yeah. I, I yeah. don't want to be part of this religion anymore. Well, that's, that's, you know, there's a lot of different, you see, and that's, and that's why the Neon Bible had, it had to be created, you know. There, there, there's so many questions out there uh, that, that people need answers to. There's a lot of different browsers out there, whether it's, you're right, Internet Explorer, Firefox, but, you know, Internet Explorer doesn't have options like to streamline your search results based off religious interest. You can't only search, you know, and get only Christian results. Firefox, yeah, I, it, it, with, with, with the ad, with, with the, uh, with the Christ, was it was it a Christ patch too? Yeah, the Christ plug. Yeah, yeah, it was. And anyways, yeah, with Christ bonus, plug. Well, hey, <laughs> bonus. I, I do you still hear me? I'm not quite sure my technology isn't working that well. No. Um. Yeah. No, you're. You coming. hear me? <laughs> Hello. Is it cutting? It's, I don't. Is it still connect? Caller, are you still connected? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, all right. It's called, I, I, it's, I, it's called Christ Plug, and as you know, it it it, it sorts everything out it's sorted by uh, Christian um, servers. Um, okay. So if if the Pope isn't using that, I, I'm really to be honest. Well, in our religion, as we discussed last time, we do not um, we do not recognize the Pope. Yeah. Well, me neither. So I want to spread the gospel of the Neon Bible, Richard. I want to do missionary position with you. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's great news. I yeah, mean, I want to do missionary with you in Europe. I want, see, I'm skilled when it's about talking to people. I'm pretty good at oral, and people need to hear about the Neon Bible. Well, I th Stephen, I think it's about time that maybe we go over to Europe and, and spread the word. Like we've, as you know, Colin, we've been spreading it primarily across the, the Midwestern United States, and, 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 and a lot, like in person, we've only uh, just started to, to branch out on the internet, but who knows where this can go from here? Maybe Europe, uh, you know, maybe like a space, like there's a station or something like that. Like it could be anywhere. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and there's the Euros, that's soccer too. Yeah. We, we can probably get involved with that in some way. Yeah, and, and I, I don't know if you have heard about Vati Leaks. It is like Viti Leaks, in case you are aware of it. Like it is a conspiracy in the Vatican. People gather secret documents of the Pope and put them online. I mean, well, I can tell yeah. you, Richard, I'm also behind this. I want to stop the Pope because I see what he's doing wrong. So I've uploaded Microsoft Word documents to my GeoCities website for the whole world to read. And, you know, the Swiss Guard the, is on me, though. Like, they already got my friend, Signore MP, and it's only a matter of time until they find me. So, you uploaded them to... <clears throat> Oh, 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 shit, shit, it is, it, it is the Swiss Guard. They, they already found me, Richard. Richard, I don't know what I should do. Okay, um, all right, all right. It's, uh, okay, well, we're going to be right back. <laughs>